Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you nine work from home jobs that are high paying in 2017. So they're not just little side gigs that you do. They're not little businesses that you start on the internet. These are actually high paying careers that you can do. You can support yourself, support your family with, and um, do it full time. So the first one you might want to look at is being a travel agent and you don't always have to just work for an agency although that's obviously an option but as a travel agent you can also do it freelance you can work for an agency but you could get a lot of income from helping people book vacations find flights for them find tours save them money on certain tours and things like that um, and just help them plan their vacations because that can be a complicated thing to do if you're not experienced. So being a travel agent could also pay off very well because people who travel tend to have money to spend and people love to spend on entertainment. They love to spend on travel and you'll attract some pretty high-end clients in many cases. So as far as the outlook of this career you can see that according to payscale.com the average or the median salary for something like this might be around 36 to maybe between 30 and 40,000 for the most part some people make even a lot more than that but um, you can make quite a bit and if you can work from home you got to also factor in how much you are uh, saving from commuting from spending money going out to lunch and doing all that type of stuff so being a travel agent is definitely something that you might want to look at I'll have a link to all the pages for you by the way so that you can look at the pay scale and things like that if you want to do it freelance, I would recommend Upwork. Upwork is a great place to attract high-end clients and do more personalized work for people without actually having to have an employer. So Upwork, if you want to do it freelance, that would be the place to do it. Finding jobs, of course, you could do, say, monster.com or indeed.com and uh, find maybe an agency that might be hiring and maybe you can find a home based position doing this and if you want more options you can go to this page at the work at home woman.com where it talks about seven home based travel job opportunities so you could do things even more specialized than, than just a general travel agent you could do a cruise planner you could be a travel writer you could be a travel blogger you could be a work at home travel agent of course which is kind of what we're covering you could do Disney specifically um, there's all kinds of different things that you could do so travel agent one of the better um, jobs that you could do that pay fairly well an SEO specialist is number two you could do this and basically help people get more business get more customers for their businesses help people get more traffic to their websites if you want to do SEO you could do this on Fiverr you could offer gigs in digital marketing and SEO you can see that's one of their top categories here on their home page Upwork is a great place to do this especially if you want to work with bigger companies and get bigger clients um, there are a lot of local SEO places if you want to look at the typical job sites but of course we're trying to work from home here so if you want to do this um, you can expect maybe 40 plus thousand per year at this job it's a very much in demand job and you make more than a lot of average jobs doing this so SEO is a great career you can do and I mean starting out around 43 or so on average is a great way to get started of course you can work your way up even higher and you could you could even just work for yourself and you could even offer your own SEO products and courses and things like that um, it's a very 
good field to be in because you can also use it to start your own business. Uh, if you want more on SEO, you want some courses that will teach you how to be good at it so that you can start doing stuff like this if you're interested in SEO, I would recommend the Content Marketing Mastery course on Digital Marketer. Um, they also have cheaper courses if you don't want to pay the $995. Um, that will get you basically certified. They have a certification badge that you can put on your uh, profiles and your websites to prove to people that you know what you're talking about. Um, of course, they also have online degrees and stuff that you can get. They also have other marketing products like this, but digitalmarketer.com specializes in these types of things. And you can find some great courses for uh, expanding your SEO knowledge there. They also have a job board now, so if you want to be looking at digital marketing only jobs, which is what SEO falls under, then you can look at some of the jobs Digital Marketer is offering on Digital Marketer's job board. So that would be a great place to check for those types of jobs. Number three, you could do public relations. So if you want to help companies with their branding, with their social media influence, with their um, perception to the public and things like that, you can do a lot with just a phone and a computer and work completely from home. So obviously if you want to do this freelance, there's quite a bit of work for this on Upwork. Fiverr is not really great for public relations, I would think. Um, Upwork would be um, probably the best place for that as far as freelance goes. And of course, you could find jobs, typical job sites. Um, if you want to do public relations and you want to see kind of what they make, they typically make very good money. They make in a, medium, a median salary of around $61,000 plus dollars. So, and these people can go work their way up to six figures in many cases, depending on who you work for. But if you work for a big company um, that has thousands of employees and you're working on the PR for them, you can definitely make up to six figures. Um, as far as more on this, you can look for jobs in the public relations area specifically by going to virtualvocations.com and looking at some of the jobs listed there. And uh, telecommuting public relations jobs is what you would look for under job type. But public relations, definitely something you can do from home and make a lot of money doing it. Number four, freelance writing. So if you want to be a writer, if you want to do blog posts for companies, if you want to do articles, you want to uh, interview people and do articles on that or you want to even write copy whatever you want to do writing there's a lot of different forms of writing and of course you can create a great career for yourself doing this now there are plenty of writing opportunities on Fiverr if you want to just kind of start out there you can work your way up to hundreds of dollars per gig. So it's not like Fiverr is just five and 10 and $15 gigs anymore. They have higher end gigs that you can offer now. That's why you can make a full time living with them now. Upwork, of course, obviously going to track bigger clients. You're going to have to do more with your profile and prove your professionalism a little more. But Upwork will get you hiring clients for freelance writing. Of course, Monster and Indeed, once again, some of the other job sites, those are just a couple, but they will have plenty of writing gigs because writers are very valuable and you kind of have to have a knack for it and people are always being recruited for writing jobs. If you want to see kind of what the pay is for a writer, it can vary a lot. As you can see, it can vary anywhere from 20000 or just over that to over six figures depending on what you do. Um, if you're working from home, a lot of times you might be doing more like blog posts and things like that. Or you might even become maybe an editor. But if you want to do this freelance and you want to just do like freelance blog posts and sell those to uh, websites, I have this resource that I found for you at makealivingwriting.com. And it's really helpful. It's um, 92 websites that pay writers 
$50 plus per article. So you can go and look at that and you can go based on categories, based on industries and things like that. But of course, writing is always going to be in demand. Number five, transcriptions. So it, there's a lot of software out there that tries to convert videos and MP3 files and interviews into text, but they're just not accurate enough in most cases. And sometimes the audio equipment that is being used that needs to be um, turned into a text file is not high quality so they may not have an audio system they may be just using like a USB mic or their laptop mic or their phone or something to record the audio and then they're trying to get transcriptions and it's hard for technology to make out things like that especially if the audio is not super high quality for instance when I upgraded my sound system to get rid of all the background noise and things like that my YouTube video auto transcriptions became much more accurate but the thing is even if you use that and you have a good audio system it doesn't do the punctuation for you it doesn't make complete sentences and paragraphs for you it doesn't capitalize the first words of sentences it doesn't do commas and things like that so you still need to get people to actually do transcriptions for you few places to do this of course freelance websites like Fiverr and Upwork both would apply in this situation um, I don't know how many jobs you'll really find on Monster and Indeed for transcription because that's really something you can do a lot for just freelance um, you may have some luck on those but they don't make as much in many cases um, a lot of them make kind of just a regular average you know slightly lower salary than many of the others on this list but you can make up to you know fifty or more thousand dollars a year but see the thing is these are like jobs if you are doing this you want to do it more freelance if you want to make more money so I would recommend instead of getting an actual job per se I would recommend you use something like transcribe me where you can just join as a transcriptionist and kind of work when you have time. I think you'll make a lot more money doing it that way or doing it on Upwork and Fiverr as opposed to trying to just work for a company and be a transcriptionist just for them. That is probably where people fall into the trap of not making as much. But transcriptions, great way to start a job online. Number six, you can be a graphic designer. So graphic design, of course, is always going to be in demand because artists do not grow on trees. Graphic design can be applied to so many different things and visuals, especially with the rise of social media and things like that. Visuals are becoming even more important than ever. So people are using them for YouTube videos. People are using them for ads. People are using them for blog posts and books and labels apparel there's all kinds of things that graphic design applies to so you'll notice that one of the top categories on Fiverr is graphic and design so that is a great place to sell some gigs Upwork of course graphics and design you can see here graphic designers UI and UX designers motion graphics experts they also do animation and all kinds of stuff on Upwork of course you can get jobs doing this trust me there will be a demand for a good graphic designer if you live near a major city you will probably have plenty of jobs that you could get and maybe they'll let you work from home most of the time um, as far as the salary for a graphic designer job you would be able to make probably between forty and fifty thousand dollars on average starting out so this can be a uh, a great place to check and see how much you can make at payscale.com but you can make pretty good money as a graphic designer and you're basically doing art all day so it, it could be a really fun job 
Um, if you want to do this freelance or you want to try and make even more money doing it, maybe you even have a job and do this on the side. You know, there's all kinds of ways you could do it. But you could use 99designs to become a freelance designer and compete against other designers to make big money on projects. So what you would do, you go to the bottom here where it says become a designer. Click on that and walk through there and you can start designing things for different companies. You can see some of the top ones they've helped. DraftKings, Optimizely, Quiznos, um, the 4-Hour Body. You may have known that best-selling book by Tim Ferriss was also designed on 99designs. And they've done all kinds of different product projects, but um, just about anything that can be designed will be um, used with 99designs. And 99designs attracts very high-end clients because this is a very premium service. So you can get paid a lot there. Number seven, virtual assistants. So if you want to just help people with their businesses or help CEOs manage their day better and things like that. And usually they'll give you step-by-step -step instructions for what to do. They just don't have time to do it themselves. You can be a virtual assistant, just kind of help people get through their day and do the things they don't have time to do. Um, I would recommend Upwork if you're going to do this freelance. A lot of times it might be better to have your own business if you want to start your own website and do virtual assistant work. You can um, start your website here. I have a guide that will walk you through how to start your own website very cheap but very professionally at selfmadesuccess.com. Just go to the page start a blog. I'll have a link to this page for you and it'll teach you how to start one in three steps. You can also maybe find some work on job sites but um, if you want to be a uh, virtual assistant, you can kind of look at their salary on pay scale. It can vary a lot just depending on how wealthy your um, clients are and who you work with, whether you're on your own or not. So some of these uh, pay scales are not going to be super accurate. But there's a very wide range, a wide range of about 40000 or more on total pay. But you can easily make up to, you know, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 if you do a good job and you maybe work with a firm or something like that. But if you want to find virtual assistant jobs, then you might look at virtualassistants.com and they will have all kinds of virtual assistant only type of jobs that you can choose from where you can do it freelance. Number eight, you could be a social media manager. So social media manager is definitely somebody who is in demand and it can be a really fun job because you're basically spending your entire day on Pinterest and Instagram and Twitter and places like that. So you're helping your company come up with stuff that would build their following, that would make their customers like them more and um, get people engaged and getting them to their website to hopefully buy products. So you can do a few like freelance gigs on Fiverr, but I would recommend Upwork more for this type of stuff because a manager, somebody who does stuff like this, it's gonna be more long-term, it's gonna be bigger clients. Uh, Upwork would be better. Monster and Indeed will have plenty of social media management jobs and related jobs to that. Um, if you wanna see kind of how much they can make, they make pretty good money, just around 50000 probably starting out. And a lot more can be made. I've Some of them make six figures or more. Um, you can do social media management for sports teams, for corporations, for small businesses, large businesses. Um, even individual entrepreneurs, maybe, you're, maybe uh, you can do it for like a big YouTube channel or something. Social media management is a full-time job these days because it's so vital to businesses and brands. So you need to kind of look at your options and see which ones can pay the most. But you also need to look at which tools you could use. So 
these tools will save you a lot of time and a great one of my favorite lists of just good social media management tools is on jeffbullis.com and they mention Hootsuite which is a great one I actually have a video that compares Hootsuite and Buffer if you want to look at uh, scheduling social posts Agora Plus you have Social Oomph which is also uh, for scheduling you have every post Bitly will track your clicks and how many clicks you're getting it'll also shorten your URLs great for Twitter Sprout Social has all kinds of analytics for social media Crowd Booster, Edge Rank, um, you can all you can do all kinds of stuff to check your progress, your analytics, schedule post. Um, Hootsuite even allows you to put your personal messages all in one page, so you can manage that quicker. Um, so I recommend you look at that page. I'll have a link to it for you. But social media management could be a great position. Number nine, you could be a consultant of some sort. And consultants can make a very wide range of incomes, but a consultant is somebody who can help people with pretty much anything. You're using your expertise not to be an employee, but to kind of help with whatever personal or business problems um, your clients have. Fiverr, you can offer some consulting. You're going to have mostly... Um, cheaper gigs probably on here for that but Upwork is also great for consulting especially for big uh, longer term projects you're not going to find a lot of consulting on regular job websites I would recommend you actually have your own website but if you want to see kind of what the uh, pay is for consulting uh, it can range a lot you know you can't it's hard to just find a page that just says oh, okay this is what a consultant makes um, but you know you might make 50 80 thousand depending on what you're doing what area you're in how much work you have but this is more something you're gonna do freelance this is more something you're gonna do on your own people don't just have a full-time consultant they'll they'll only hire you for a period of time to help them get a result and then once you get a result usually you have to go to your next client but to start your own consulting website I recommend you go through this page and it will help you kind of put together your own website with WordPress which I still believe is the best by far of the uh, website platforms and that will teach you how to do that in three steps to help you build your own consulting brand that you can personally market yourself. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you learned something that can uh, help you maybe pick a job that might pay you pretty well or might uh, have good uh, potential for you, then please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know about some other jobs that you think uh, pay pretty well that you could do from home that I didn't mention or you want to let me know what you thought about the video in general, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and get your feedback so I can improve these videos and keep the conversation going and kind of help anyone who watches this video. And all of the links that I mentioned, all of the resources, all of the places to find jobs and things like that, as well as video notes and related content will be at selfmadesuccess.com, which is the website I'm showing you right now. And you can find all that stuff there. Also, I have a link in the description to that page. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day.